I'll be discussing a motor driver board that I built. Um, while I am using it, it as a unipolar stepper motor driver, it can drive a number of motors and other devices up to 5 amps at 48 volts. This is your host, Lewis Laughlin. You can see the web address down here to visit to find out more information on this. So let's get started. By the way, this is a six-wire unipolar stepper motor. Uh, that is what I'll be using in this discussion. All right, let's look at this photo. This up here is a constant current source. This is a 5-volt uh, stepper motor. It's rated at 5 volts at 1 amp. This has been set at 1 amp with an input voltage of 18 volts. This will protect the motor and the system. It consists of four driver transistors and a ULN 2003A. This device has seven open collector outputs, of them which I'm using four in this demo. And they're all, that's ground to the Arduino. That's the four pins I'm using. In addition to the three I'm not using, come out here to these three headers and these three ground pins. There's the constant current source that's discussed elsewhere. All right, here's a basic schematic of what we're dealing with. This here is my pictorial drawing of the motor drive board. This is an Arduino. Uno, basically, you have a ground connection between them. I'm using D12 through D9 or D9 through D12, whatever way you want to look at it. I have labeled the inputs. Here are the numbers off the uh, ULN 2003, which I have connected what I call Q1 through 4. That's the P and P driver transistors. And this is a particular motor is an air packs that I've used for years for demos. And the wiring are the wiring is as follows: black. Mine is going to be different because I ground the center tap and then energize the other uh, side of the windings through a 5 volt high voltage pulse. Same down here. You have to get these colors corresponding directly through Q1 through Q4 or the motor will not run. All right, within the controller board itself, I have used four uh, TIP-125s. These are PNP Darlingtons, as you see here. And the ULN-2003A consists of seven open collector Darlington driver transistors. The TIP-125 is rated at 5 amps at 60 volts. The ULN-2003A each output is rated at around 50 volts at 500 milliamps. Let's take a quick look at their spec sheets. All right, this is a rough drawing of the internals and this is a 16 pin package that the ULN 2003 has. You don't do, you do not need any dropping resistors from between the Arduino and the inputs. They're direct connections. And it consists of seven open collector Darlington transistors. Here is your package outline, fairly straightforward. E down here is common, and the common is the uh diode connection. So don't confuse this common on pin 9 with ground. E is ground. Here is the internal diagram to several of the ULN 2000 series. I'm only interested in this one down here. It has an input dropping resistor uh, Darlington configuration. It, it has uh, spike diodes built in and there's your other diode connected to the common. If you want to, connect it to motor BCC. All right, the other part used in the board mainly is a TIP-125. 
It's a th um, three pin TO220 case. If we move down and look at this, that's the internal construction. And uh, here are your voltage and current ratings. A TIP125 is good for 60 volts, collect, um, collector emitter voltage. Uh, TIP127, in fact, is 100 volts. I have some of those, but I use the 125s instead. If you move down through here, collect your collector current continuous is 5 amps. You can uh, surge or pulse up to 8 amps. Your base current is around 120 milliamps according to this. It will actually switch on with a lot less and so forth. Here is the output that drives each coil of the stepper motor. These uh, emitters are tied to VCC. A high on the input of the ULN2003 switches it to ground. You create a emitter base current through this 1000 ohm resistor to ground through the ULN2003. This allows your collector current to flow through the coil. I added my own suppressor diodes and these are activity indicators on each of the four outputs that are like this. Now if you remove the stepper motor you have four outputs that could be used to drive other just regular motors, relays, or whatever you want. What follows is some live video clips where it is actually operating the motors, but first one more thing to see. Let's just take a look at the uh, Arduino code real quick. I actually have two of these. One of them is done with a lot of digital writes and the other uses port commands. But they work pretty much the same. I'm defining Arduino pins 9, 10, and 11 as Q1 through 4 as was labeled in the schematic. These are for some uh, switches if I want to use them. That's a port command I use to just shut everything off instead of using four digital writes. And what you see, and this right here is forward, or two subroutines forward. That's 46 steps with 10 millisecond delay between steps. Delays uh, one second. Then it reverses 46 steps with 10 seconds delay between each and so forth. You just pick the number you want forward and backward with the d time delay and so forth. How do the individual subroutines work? Well, it actually operates in a while loop. In this case, we're using port commands. You notice that I commented out the digital writes. You can read more about port commands and read the code on the uh, website. The other alternative is to use the digital write commands as you see here and these have to be you notice the ones and the zeros these have to be done in steps this one first followed by two three four repeat until you break the loop that's going to go forward if you want to go backward you're going to start with this one and work your way back to the first one that's number four three two one repeat. So that's how the code works. And that's all I have on this. That there will be two short clips following this that actually shows the motor running and the indicators flashing and all of that using the codes that I illustrated previously. Thanks for listening. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com. Thanks for listening. All right, you're looking at a stepper motor being controlled by an Arduino Uno. I built my own high side driver board. It also has three more outputs from a ULM 2003. 
we'll be discussing the program that I wrote for this, some tricks and tips for stepper motors. We'll discuss the driver board up here powering the system. It's a 5 volt stepper motor. It is my uh, variable constant current source. It's connected to 18 volts and it's sending it down the current to operate a 5 volt motor. And it's quite adjustable. That's a different video. All right, here is my uh, Arduino motor dr control board driving a different type of stepper motor. It's another, it, this of course is a unipolar like the other one, but it operates at a different voltage, but I can, and it's at 12 volts and not 5, but all I had to do was set my current limiting circuit to the original 1 amp and no problems. I did have to change the timing though because this motor being older and a 12 volt coil and slightly different inductance I had to change the delay between steps.